Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the structure of the kingdom protists. So, we are basically going to discuss about the different types of structure that is present in case of protists. So, let us take a look. So, first of all, they are microscopic structures like that of bacteria. They are very small, their uh, size range is very small and they are basically microscopic. They can only be visualized with the help of microscopes. Now, they are eukaryotic cell structure. Before this, we have talked about the kingdom Monera, which included only prokaryotes. Now, these are the eukaryotic cell structure, which means unlike the prokaryotes, which do not have true nucleus, here the protists, they have got true nucleus. Plasma lemma surrounds the cell. So, what is plasma lemma? Plasma lemma is basically the cell membrane. So, this actually surrounds the cell. Now, these type of protists, they may have another outer wall, uh, which may have pellicle, they may have cuticle. So, these are all secretions, extra secretions outside the cell, which acts as a wall. Some may develop shell also and some, uh, some of the walls we are talking about may be cellulosic. So, these are the various types of wall type structure which may be present in case of protist that is they may develop pellicle, cuticle, they also may develop shell or walls which are cellulosic in nature. Now, they possess uh, membrane bound organelles unlike the prokaryotes we have discussed that prokaryotes do not have membrane bound organelles. But here, these are the eukaryotes and they have got membrane bound organelles and again in compared with the prokaryotes which have got 70S type of ribosomes, here the ribosomes are typically 80S type. So, this 80S is composed of two smaller subunits, one, one larger unit which is uh, 60S and another smaller unit which is 40S. So, they both combine to form the ATS type of ribosomes in case of protists, basically in case of all eukaryotes. They have got photosynthetic forms and which may contain chloroplast. So, some forms may be photosynthetic that is they can prepare their own food and hence they have got chloroplast. Now, cilian flagella may uh, be present in some forms of protist. This is not mandatory for all types of protists. So, some forms may have cilia and flagella which help in some sort of locomotion and the nucleus has a porous nuclear envelope. That means the nucleus it is a proper membrane bound structure unlike that of the prokaryotes. But a typical characteristics of this nuclear membrane is that they are porous in nature. So, in this video we have talked about the basic cellular structure of the kingdom protists. So, I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.